Good evening. Ah, this is Tumikadi. Uh, I'm coming through on Saturday evening, the 12th of June 2021. Time is 7 16 p.m. Today I'm way too early. I was supposed to have started um, 6 30, but I had to do certain things. Um, but now I'm back. Okay. So this is video number six, I believe. Yes, where I'm gonna switch gears, continue this series of Solution Explorer where we look in detail the project structures of these projects individually. So video number five, please do watch this video where I was in this project where we looked at the web API structure. Now I'm going to go to MVC Grid. Um, so let me say it as a startup project. And there we go. I'm going to focus on this project and I'm going to explain why it's in here in a second. So a little bit of introduction. These videos, this YouTube channel, you are watching it because I decided to kind of like walk through somebody into identical dog's brain you know like how how did i put together the brain of identical dogs i'm talking about the code not just the user interface or the idea of hey i built an app but what it took for me to build this system these videos are meant for my potential employer uh, the recruiters are welcome to check how good I am because I'm extremely good in my own world. And that's just, this is why I put together these videos. There's more content coming. And then they're also meant to um, kind of like aid and guide university students in IT, particularly those ones at CUT since I work close with them, the third year ones. But also, this is meant for first years, second years, and third years. They should have an idea of what an app, uh, it can be a mobile app or web app, uh, or a system they would like to put together. And then lastly, this is for my fellow developers, um, those that are sitting with ideas. This is what it takes to build an actual production system. So if you like me to show a specific part of identical docs assuming that you have my app installed right now on your device I still need to uh, upgrade the version number of the AP is it API um, let me just go off the script a bit um, because Google Play told me that I need to upgrade. So let me check something. This is not part of what I need to do, but I'm aware of the upgrade I need to make on this app for Android. Um, so I just want to check quickly. Target framework. Is it the one? Minimum target framework? Something like that? Yeah. I want to check um, what Android is it targeting. Okay. So um coming together come uh, coming to put it uh ah uh, api level okay so it's 29 they want me to target 30 and then i just if you look at this installing components i just installed android sdk 30 um well there's nothing but i just installed it uh, you see Android emulator version 30 1.5 completed so I, this is what I just did right now when I launch my Visual Studio because I did upgrade this Visual Studio this morning to the latest version okay so currently target Android version is Android 10 API level 29 they want me to go API level 30 okay so okay cool now if you like me to focus on a specific uh, part of the system, please write on the comment below. Start with hashtag request. The request has to be in capital letters. And then tell me which uh, project I should focus on. Tell me which platform. Tell me which um, app I should focus on. Specifically, 
what part of that specific platform project I should focus on. That will be pretty much helpful so that I can go and, you know, because I'm still coming to um, explain how I came uh, with this idea of doing something, how do I have maps, how to set up maps, you know, all these things, how do I make use of web API, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you see, um, that's exactly what I did um, when I did this guy, SDK, but we'll take a look at it. Okay, so what else? Okay, so MVC Grid. What is MVC Grid? Before I come to MVC Grid, how I bump into MVC Grid, you know how website they have some sort of a grid, you know, where they're showing something. So MVC Grid. Please Google MVC Grid. I found this incredible project. It's a very complex project. I found it on the internet many years ago, I believe 2016, if not 2017. So I don't know if they still have it, but I'd like to show you um, how I put together this thing. I don't promise that it's still on the internet or if the same version. I never went back to check it. I only used it multiple times in multiple web applications and I love it. It's also being integrated in identical docs. I will also show that um, in few minutes. Is my Wi Fi? Yes. In a few minutes, what it looks like. But that project is very, very important. Okay, so. What it does this, um, this project, okay, we'll come to this in a second. This project, it's a big project. So let's first see. Um, oh, by the way, speaking of having to upgrade that Visual Studio to the latest and greatest, let's go to help um, about Visual Studio. Let's give this a second to spin up. Okay. Okay, I want to say something about this new version. Microsoft did something here. There wasn't this drop up. It's not drop down, it's drop up. It wasn't here. I don't know what else they did. I didn't read their release notes for this version. All I know it is some incredible stuff. So this is version 16.10.1. It's been upgraded as of this morning. And then these are all the tools. Okay. So like I said, I don't know what, um, I don't know what Microsoft did, but this is new. I only realized this a few minutes before I started recording, which is fantastic. This is part of version control. I'm excited about them. Also, let's go to file and then start window. And then let's search, let's say create a new project. I'm not gonna create a new project, but I'm curious about something. Give me a second. There are templates that are new. And then one of the new template that is part of this Visual Studio, this version of Visual Studio, it's .NET MAUI. And I'm excited about it. So I wanna see, I currently don't have .NET 6. I haven't uh, downloaded the SDK. Currently it's in preview number four. I haven't downloaded anything, but I'll probably do it maybe tomorrow morning because I want to look at this .NET MAUI. Um, so yeah, trust me, I'm still on the, scri uh, the script. I just wanna check something. See, we have some new stuff here. New, 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 new stuff. Um, okay, let's see if it's there. Maui. Okay, now MVC grid. So I wanted something that will properly, you know, show data like um, in a nice way where there's a pagination, page one, page two, page three, you can search a specific record, uh, you can filter the record, so there wasn't a nice one. And then when I was doing the research many years ago, I believe 2016 or 2017, and then I bumped into this MVC grid. That's how I got to know about this project I'm about to look into uh, right now. I just wanna quickly check if this, it has what I think it has, Maui. 
Uh, seriously? Okay, no, it's fine. I just need to get .NET. Yes, it's on .NET 6. Nevertheless, quickly, let's check uh, the properties. Is this a class library? What's happening here? Some of these things, most of these things, I don't know them. I, I'm not gonna lie, but we'll get to it. So assembly name is MVC Grid. Target framework, .NET framework 4.7.2. It's a class library, now that we know. Another thing that you need to have to make this happen is this folder, um, solution folder called dot, dot .nuget. So these three files, they are explicitly for this project. nuget.config. Yeah, trust me, it's disable source control integration. And then this one, it's an, it's an ESC file. And then, yeah, I don't know what they do. All I know is they're making this guy to work for some reason, but you need to have, and it needs to be part of the version control. Just on the side note, when we get to do a series of a version control, when you add a project, please be on the master branch. That's it, that's a tip. Okay, first and foremost, let's go to the first um, file packages.config we know this so it has spnet mvc razor web pages web.infrastructure and they were taking the previous version but now it's being upgraded to 472 okay that's all you need to know okay cool i think the uh whatever it's in here these files that in this folder they're responsible for making sure that these guys these new packages are, are on board Okay, so we know properties, it's assembly info, it doesn't have anything. But remember, this is not my project. I did not write this from ground up. I never tampered with this. So these are the guys that, you know, wrote this thing, you know, yeah. And then references, let's see what it has. It has Microsoft.C Sharp, Web.Infrastructure, um, Help Us, MVC, Razor, Pages, and so forth. Okay. I don't know where to start. I'm not gonna lie, but I'll, I'll go folder by folder. Engine will come to this guy. And I also show how it's been mapped to the main web application, which is the MVC portion. But let's go back to, to check. I think this is the one, mvcgrid.net. Yeah, there are too many MVC grid here. You can go through them. I've also looked at this one from uh, MC Great Azure website. Yeah, I believe it's the first one. So, MC Great. Yeah, it is the first one. It's a complicated to set this thing up in your project. It's it's a hassle. Like it's not a fun thing. Yes, it is the one. So this is what I've used. Like I said, I'm gonna be transparent. So it's what I've used. I have exactly this. I've learned how to make these IDs clickable. Yes, exactly. So now you know, yes, all this. Now you know where this comes from. I do have all of these things. It has its own dependency injection system, but it's not an easy thing to, 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 to put together and then do. So please go through the documentation, check the demos. I'm not gonna you know, go through this, but just know that's how I ended up having this project called MVC Grid. So, engine, we have a grid engine. I'm just gonna try to see, because I tried to study this project multiple times, it still doesn't make sense, but it makes the, the application work. So MVC Grid, hey, there are too many pieces moving around here. I don't want to lie, there are too many pieces. I don't know where is this thing being utilized. I don't know. It's a tedious thing. A nice thing about vision control, because I'm going to use this project as an example, do not temper this project. It works now. Sometimes it doesn't work when it comes to the icons, but we'll see that in Identical Dogs website. Do not remove stuff like this. I don't know what these. Um, uh, percentage signs, why they are there. I don't know what they mean. I don't want to know. But do not tamper with this project. 
if it works for the first time, make sure that it's on vision control or it's been tracked by a vision control system so that you do not commit a uh, necessary change that you have made. I like to remove these empty spaces usually because the kids program like this, but adults like me, we don't have empty space like this. But that's the point. Um, do not tamper with this. It has images. We'll talk about these images in a second. It has interfaces. IMVC create column. Yes, header text, column name, enable sorting, HTML decode. So at least now we can relate. Okay, let's do this while looking at the actual website. Identical dogs. Does he while it's loading? But I did cover most of this on video number four, so please go back to video number four where I did a solution explorer looking at project structure for SP.NET MVC um, targeting.NET framework. I did take a look at this MVC grid. I spoke briefly about it. So let's use test one. Okay, so test one, it's my client. It's someone who pays to use my services. So now they're being authenticated and authorized to have access to documents. Like I said, this is how I integrated this MVC grid. This is it. Okay, cool. A nice thing about it, okay, but let's, okay, I think these are the header text, you know, yes. Oh no, header text, no. I think these are the header text, I don't know. And these are the column names. So the point is I'm trying to look at this interface, I'm like, you know, yeah. I enable filtering, yes, if it's visible. Uh, sort column data allow change visibility. Yes, this one I know what it does and everything. Okay, cool. It has MVC grid definition. Um, I enumerable of MVC grid column. Get the columns, query string, prefix, preload the data, query on page load. Oh, trust me, these are complicated stuff. So, but the point is, you can take a look at this uh, project yourself, you know, uh, MVC grid render, rendering engine, and it has some. Green squiggles, I don't know what they mean. I don't wanna know. Missing XML comment, oh, for publicly visible type of member. Okay, cool. Allow paging, prepare response, render, render container. Like I said, yeah. IMVC grid, templating engine, there we go. And what else do we have? Models, and oh, there's a lot, look at this. It has this authorized type. I tried to do a research on this, but I could not. So you, um, in my case, I used anonymous. I didn't use authorized, meaning that you can allow authorized users to see this grid. Or in this case, they are unauthorized, which is anonymous. Yeah, and then column default. Yeah, so these are column defaults, you know, yeah. And then column visibility, uh, that one at least I know it. Container rendering model. I don't even know what this inner HTML block, but there are too many references to it. The class and then this property. Grid column. Yeah. Every time when I see some weird stuff like this, I'm like, can I not know what they do? Yes. There are too many stuff. Like, I never did this kind of uh, functions. What do they do? Someone please tell me. Uh, I've been a C-sharp developer, but I don't even know what they do. Uh, but I know what this is. Okay, or what it does. Yes, we know string is now or what space. Yeah. I also like that they use the the XML comments. Or should I say block comment? Yeah, to guide the but you need to like um set about five days to understand what this thing does. But it needs to work first. Because if it doesn't work, well, why bother? A grid column builder, grid context. Like these things are too complex for me. I don't want to lie. Great default. And this one's a funny one. This one. Oh, you see when it says no result in message and it says no result. It's in this case where there is nothing and then it just shows. But how does it end up there? I don't know how it gets to be wired up. 
but just know that yes, these are the default preload data, yes. Oh, maybe I can manipulate these skins. Okay. And here it says summary message showing two to uh fifty to 100 of a hey, hey, where is this thing showing oh showing zero to you see now these are the things like the default so yeah at least i know filtering by default is false i don't know why this is coming out i never i'm not the one that comment this out it is a view path and i will take a look at this if i do have it oh there is a view somewhere right no okay so these are the defaults you know, allowing anonymous. Usually, I get this one. Error message HTML. Just know that you messed up. Anytime you're gonna see, it's a, it's a, it's a nice alert. It's, it's orange, you know, because it's a warning. The role alert. It will say there was a problem loading the grid. Trust me, that's when you know you screwed up something, but it's not clear what you did. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's a very, very huge thing. Okay, grid definition. We have some um, some stuff. MVC grid builder, query option, query result, rendering model, rendering. Why do I have two rendering model? Rendering model. Oh, rendering mode, rendering model. So direction template model, and then we have rendering, bootstrap rendering engine. Like I said, bootstrap. Yes, I think these images, I can justify them. Yes, you see there's a sort, this icon, and there's a sort up. So these are the icons here. These are the icons. Okay. And then this is how they are probably being brought, how they are brought up, uh, they're brought into, you know, um, being to be rendered, the table, how it appears. So yeah, if you are... If you like stuff like this, you can, for me, honestly, you're going to have to bribe me to uh, get me to pay attention to what everything does here. But yeah. Okay. And then we also have Ajax Loader. Yes, we do have it. We also have Sort Down. Yes, those images. Cool. But sometimes on one of the projects, they would not show like all the images. And I, I won't even know how to fix it. CSV rendering engine. So it can export to CSV. We'll take a look at that when there's a data. Uh, you can say export. Yes, I've used it. Uh, stop, because there's no data. Don't do it. So what it does, it it depends on a, on a file. Um, this file, documentation.csv. I'm not gonna open it. Maybe it might open in Excel. I don't wanna open it, but just know it depends on it. It needs to be in this app underscore data. I can't remember how I set this thing up, but I managed to make it work. Okay, and then we have scripts. So this is MVC script, MVC grid script, JavaScript. I think it's a huge file, this one. So this one, it's meant for this project, but they are also the ones that are meant for your application. I've never been a fan of JavaScript. I'm not gonna lie. I understand certain things. It's not a thing that I enjoy figuring out. I can do basic stuff, but I don't enjoy JavaScript. Never have. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why it shows like this. I hope I'm not breaking anything. And then we have a templating. Simple templating engine. What do you do? See all this? This is a real programming stuff. Hey. We have utility. Config utility. Yeah, no. We have a grid context utility. Yeah, no. We have HTML utility. Aha, this file. Oh, this path. This, it's, it's something that I remember it, it would not get one of my projects previously when I tried to integrate this MVC grid in that project. It would not work because of this file it was missing. So in the case of my web application, it's not a physical file, but you have to reference somewhere in web to config file. Like I said, I can never show web config file because it contains some sensitive stuff. Okay. And then we have web, grid registration, 
okay, we will install the grid probably. And you have HTML extensions. I always want to know how to you know build um, extension methods, you know. But I'll get there. MVC grid controller. Yeah, no, it's 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 a simple you know method, but it's a complicated one. MVC grid definition table. Yeah, no, it's look at this forbidden names or the add query stream partial. Yeah, no, this is C sharp on steroids. MVC grid handler. Hey, 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 see this, this, they, they, they terrify me. This, hey, they terrify me. And the images, ah, no, it, 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 no, no, it. MVC grid HTML generator. These people that build this thing, they are geniuses. Big up to you guys. I don't know who you are, but big up to you. No, query stream parser. It's a custom class. You see stuff like this. Why would you have uh, this thing before and this thing after? You know, yeah, no. And then yeah, I think that's it. So how was it wired up? So let me close all of this. First thing you know about this is for export. It does export to um, CSV file. Usually you open that we using Microsoft Excel. So the first thing, but we did this though. I'm not, no, we did this. Please take a look at video number four. We did this. I want to focus on how this was wired up. We still have a, a time. Yes, how this was wired up. Yes, we still have time. So we are on documents. I should go to documents controller. Like, trust me, we do have time. So controllers, remember it's for MVC and remember it's for the client because it's a client that's logged in, not me, administrator, so documents. And then we have a documents controller. So let's start there. How was it wired up? Wired up. Okay, so we do have this. And then I'm gonna need to open um, something here, MVC grid config. And I'm gonna need to open the, uh, and inject web com uh, web common. I'll tell you how they're wired up. I'm gonna need to open models, MVC grid, models, MVC client, documents. There we go. And I'm gonna need to open the view model for MVC. Looking at the client, documents, and documents view model. And then I need to open the views and I'm going to look at the document D D D D D D documents and then this index and then probably the info so when you send a request you see what I just did if you like for me to show how this work like how do I end up is these all missing pieces okay so let's start with the basic thing the registration now before that let's go to the models so inside the model, models, MVC grid, we have, we're focusing on the models again for MVC and then the client, and then we have a folder called documents. This is document model, uh, no, documents repository. So this is where dependency injection comes in. Okay, so you need to have the interface, I documents repository. You need to have these three guys, these three methods. You know, uh, they are returning a numerable of uploads. You see, they are returning some sort of data. I know I'm calling it documents because the client, let's use my friends, Gamo, Vincent, and Longile. Gamo owns a uh, store one, Gamo's tag, Vincent owns uh, Vincent's tag, Longile owns Longile's tag. So these are my clients, three clients, right? Now, the data from the mobile application, it's going to the upload um, table, right? We did that. Now, but I renamed this to be documents because they're gonna be handling the documents, the actual PDF files, Excel files, Word files, not Excel, Word files, PowerPoint files, TXT files, images, and so forth. So hence, I renamed it to be documents, okay. So, 
do I know so many things here, what they do, they're confusing. I try to figure out why the same method name, but obviously the signature is different. Okay, and then we have a class that implements this interface, right? And then the word implements the correct one, right? Yes, I believe so. And then these are three methods, if you look at them. In fact, there are four. You see, that's a funny thing. Oh, but remember uh, the class can have additional methods. Yes, even though there are three, it's supposed to bring all those three, but there's one that's unique. So for you to know, you just see on the signature that's a bit weird, then you will know which one is unique. The point is, do I know what this guy does? No. Do I know what this guy does? No. Do I know about this one? Yes. Do I know about? No. The one of yes, we'll talk about this one. Okay, cool. So you know we are putting data from uploads table, right? Okay, the using um, statement and the blog, what it does is that it's gonna dispose all the resources that uh, you know that belong to this object. I think it, it implements a disposable. I believe so. Yes, but the point is, it's gonna clear uh, all the resources being utilized. Remember, I am me. So the way I explain is according to my knowledge. If you know, please write on the comment to tell me if I'm wrong, but yes, cool. So there's a reason why it says there are no results. And then that's the first thing. Because of it says var seven days ago. So basically, Kamo, Vincent, and Lungile, they can only have access to the documents that are still within seven days period. So I'm saying, hey, daytime, from now on, let's go back seven days, seven days ago. And then what I do, I do the query to say, now, see the DB? Let's go into the table called uploads where. We want to look at the business, businesses, um, you see the navigation property. There is, it is a navigation property. Let me do this. We do have the navigation property for business. There we go. With a foreign key and then the navigation property. I'm very good. I said I'm, I'm very good. So we're going to say, hey, because this navigation property has another um, foreign key, ID, which is a user ID, you know, I need to know, see this ID, I need to know about it because I've logged in. So if I'm logged, if I'm, okay, let's go back to the controller because it will make sense from the controller first. Oh, let me finish this class. Uh, because I'm on documents repository, like I said, I need to be able to register them using an inject web com uh, command. We, tell, we do take a look at this on video number four. But what I know for sure, you need to register it here. This is why I'm here. There we go. Only then it will work. If you don't register here, it won't work. Now we're done. Now you know what's happening there. I want to go to a controller because it's imperative. You see on the index, and then you, see, you can see that it's being restricted to any user that has this role called client. Only then they can have access, hence I was, I'm locked in. Okay, so these are the actions and you, you will see the cleanest code ever being built by me, clean code. Forget about this for now, but I wanna go to the actions. I'm gonna go to the default one, which is the index. So what I'm saying, I'm saying, hey, let's check who has logged in. Let's get their current user ID. Let's save it temporarily on the global variables class and, and then just return this guy. That's it. So when this guy loaded, it loaded the user ID that belongs to this user test one. Now you understand. So going back to documents repository. So then I'm saying, because I'm logged in, let's check if one of the businesses you know, um, go go through all the businesses that I own, check the documents, therefore, that belong to this business. And also, with the end operator, check if they created on, we can go back to it, you see that's created on, when was it the, the end user uploaded document? 
okay? So check when it was uploaded. Is it greater than seven days ago? It is greater than seven days ago. Unfortunately, we're not gonna show uh, data because this is where I'm at. Unfortunately, we're not gonna show any data, but there are some documents, but the old ones. This is also a nice feature for security. Um, I'm, do, I'm not intent to do this. I want to do this in detail, but not now. I don't intend to do this thing in detail, but there's a time. I just want to show how it's been linked. So, okay, so this is responsible for showing this, this that you see here. Okay, so now we understand, because before I get deeper. Also, how we register the actual grid, because every grid is independent. This grid is independent. First and foremost, we go back to the controller because it retains the, the view. If you look at the index, you know, a view, which is this one, this is how you now have the actual grid, this. This is the code that's responsible for making sure that here it is, this whole thing. And I put it inside a panel container. Hence, so you see a panel container. Okay, we'll do that later on, what these classes, CSS classes, what they do, and so forth. Okay, so just know that um, I call it document grid. That's the only thing you should know. And then for us to register it, this is where we have registered it. So I need to look for document. There is a document. You see, I'm saying MVC grid definition table dot add document grid. It does. This is the guy that's responsible for making sure that it's linking with every single thing that comes from uploads uh, and a table or entity. And then you know, making use of this repository. Where is it? I closed it. So this is where the data comes in. Okay. Cool. Now you understand. And what else? So we are done here. We are done here because the MVC grid only it's here on the index. And then this is the index. We don't need this info. Yeah, I think that's it. So now you know how to wire that MVC grid. It's an independent project. Here it is. But having to, I didn't need the documents view, view model. Yeah, so it was unnecessarily. Yeah, but now you understand you need a model and it has, ah, speak of the model. There's something else that's needed here, which is, it, it's making use of, if you look at this guy, there's MVC grid toolbar model. Cause like I said, I will do this in detail. So this MVC grid toolbar model, this is a class. So what it does, it has this MVC grid name, the page size, page size, and then, um, column visibility, export, and global search. Global search, export, and column visibility. So this is the toolbar. So this is where I toggle what should show, what, what should not show. So this portion here, it's a toolbar. The page size, um, column visibility, export, and search. So now you understand MVC grid toolbar model, okay? Because it's in needed in here where we set them up. Okay, cool. It has extensions. What do they do? Uh, I never looked at the extension. I only know they are responsible for sorting, uh, sending order, descending order, and so forth. And then documentation repository. Well, what does it do? Okay, this is where now the export comes in. That's why the uh, the file documentation dot csv uh, was needed. There we go. Now you you know. Okay, cool. Well, I hope that's what I believe it does. File name to do what? Read. Uh huh. See this method doc? I I know. Okay. And then we have custom HTML rendering engine. It's a big class. It does some weird stuff also. Ascending, descending, sort, all of stuff. You know. Yeah, no. So, but just know this is also part of MVC Grid. And also, the way I like to develop, I put inside a folder called MVC Grid so that I can know that, you know, this is MVC Grid. The same way I did in app underscore start, there's MVC Grid. Whatever's in this folder, it's meant for MVC Grid. Okay, um, I think I'm done. I just want to go to the content because it has some JavaScript and stuff. So this folder called SH, you do not rename this folder. That's the only way it will work. S, S, H, 
SH brush C sharp JavaScript. I don't want to know what this thing does. Look at this weird stuff. Look at this. How do you re reject? Ah no, ah no. S A S H brush JavaScript. See this weird stuff. Oh no, no, nah, no. Nah, I'm 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 good. And then S H call to J S. Weird funny stuff. Oh no, don't change this fast. You need version control to discipline yourself. And then we have uh, CSS SH core. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's too big. And don't change anything yet. And then we have the theme default. Yeah, no, that's that, that's it. So, how do we register this? Um, um, that you ask it. So, views, let's go to shared and then underscore layout and then this is where we are bringing them up where is it there we go this do not tamper with this it's a first portion of it don't ask me how i know just don't tamper with that also um navigation bar we're gonna do um, a walkthrough on navigation bar what's happening there folder oh yes firstly you need the script you see mvc grid handler you see that file i was thinking about yes and then you need the content those sh that i was re referencing to oh, just to talked about you need them here uh, and then yeah these are just good portion stuff and then Yes, the style thing, this is the only thing. Other than that, do not tamper with it. So in a nutshell, that was MVC Grid. I hope you found this informative. Like I said, we go through a lot. This is not pop inflation. You should be prepared for stuff like this. You should be prepared for stuff like this. You should know what needs to go where and how and everything. You should prepare for stuff like this. So it's a unique project. Speaking of the version control, I think this is going to be important. Let's go to GitHub. I want to show something about version control in this current context. That I only did something when I, I add a project. I never tamper with that. In fact, we can do this. Can we do right click for this part of version control can we go to get yes can we go and view history you see how many times have i tempered with this uh, project how many times because if you keep on tempering with it because you don't know what you're doing i advise that you stop Right, so if you look at this MVC grid, it says 11 months ago. We're talking about the 14th of July, 2021, 1.29 p.m. That was the last time I tempered with this. We'll talk about version control. How do you know who tempered with which file or which folder and then when? Ah, there we go. See, there's only one comment. The only one comment. It says, and like I said when I started this recording, that when you add a project, be on the master branch. So I was on master branch. You see the importance of version control, the power of version control. I know I was on master branch. I know I was on the 14th of July, 2020. That's exactly what this guy said. Over, 14 July, 2021, 1.29 p.m. And then I was adding, that's the action. Did I remove, add, modify? What did I do? That's the, the action. And then the message. I added what? There. MVC grid project and there. Dot nuget, uh, nuget solution folder. The folder I spoke about. That's exactly what I did. If we do right click and say view comment details, this part of version control, I'm just showing the glimpse of it. While it's loading. 
um, let's go back. Is there anything else that's important by me? Okay, see, even there's a time. Okay, so this is a commit. It will show exactly what I did. So, 47 changes in total. I added this folder, these three files. We know about that. And then I added this uh, project. If I do this, that's it. And I modify the, the solution. If you look at the entire solution, you can you can see Microsoft stop rearranging stuff. That Git thing was supposed to be here. I get um, comic details. But the point is, I added the project. That's a, the unique ID. Oh, mobile. Why did I tempo with the mobile? Okay, I'm sorry. But nevertheless, I added this one. I don't know why this one was tempered with. I added a project. It's called MVC Grid. And then the solution um, folder and then the items. So that's the only thing I did. And I never went back to tempo with this file. Uh, I meant this thing is not supposed to be here. Microsoft, stop arranging stuff. Because now it's taking up space. This thing was movable. See the new updates now? Consequence of new updates? Ah, oh, come on. This thing was supposed to be at the bottom tab. Like I usually, damn it, you Microsoft. Yeah, no, this is version control stuff. Okay, so, but in a nutshell, when I warn you, listen, I know what I'm doing. I'm now, I'm now an expert in this field, listen. Thank you very much. I hope this was informative. I hope that this, you know, provides some insight to MVC Grid. When you search on the internet, you don't just say, oh, this will work. You go through a lot. Thank you very much. Until next time.